This is a journal with a mix of gratitude, art, scrapbooking, and whatever journal answer. <laughs> so I don't really work just on gratitude in here. It's basically everything in here. So one of the easiest way to start is using sticky notes. I'm sure everyone has this right. And um, I have so many colors. I write each of them in different sticky note paper. This one that I found was, are you happy with how your day turned out? Think about the qualities of the people you admire. List these qualities and how you can incorporate them into your life. So name three things that always put a smile on your face. Name five things you are doing doing well currently. And the list goes on. I stick all this prompt, gratitude prompt at the back of my journal. And uh, I do have it in a different insert as well. Like whenever I feel like using it, then I would like remove them and paste it in my spread. Express gratitude for having as much food as you need. So how I do is that if let's say this is about food actually, so I would remove this and let's say for that day I had like three meals, wonderful meals, and I have a picture of the meals, I would actually use this and put it in that spread and together along with the pictures of the food and I would write down like what I had and who I had it with and what are the the I, I would reflect on the memories on what happened on that day. I recently moved to a new house. When I was moving and packing the things from my old house, I have a lot of postcards and uh, old pictures and notes that I used to paste that I used to uh, put it on my fridge so when I was moving I had to remove everything to this new place that I'm staying and as I was removing the pictures of course because it's old pictures I don't want to I don't I wouldn't want to put use them again in my new fridge right so I was thinking how could I reuse all these old memories that I had because they're all so precious I actually came across a gratitude prompt that it says list something good that has recently caught your attention to make you realize how fortunate you are. I remember when I was driving while well, after packing and moving and all that within those few days, I kept thinking about that box of image and postcard that I removed from my fridge. I was thinking what should I do with it and this gratitude prompt actually gave me an idea so here are some of the photos that were on my fridge as well as some postcard my family photo a postcard that my husband actually wrote to me so it says something like i wanted to send this card to you for a very long time and i got this postcard from beijing in china and i wanted to use this chance to tell you that in no matter what you do please carry a feeling of gratitude and he says yes this is the gratitude that you have you are having right now so yeah i find this postcard was very meaningful and this as well, it says, <laughs> this is pretty sweet, like it's just wishing me autumn festival as well as all these were on the fridge. Like this was actually a message from a follower that I got and she actually like thanking me and all that, which I think this is very sweet and it was on my fridge for a very long time. It was from March 2018. My Japanese friends, as well as a picture of my dog that passed away for quite some time. A signing card, photo card from a friend that she got from me. This is the artist Fan Bingbing. So this is her signage. So my friend actually worked with her, so she, she managed to get the uh, a sign for me and so as I was driving 
like packing and all that i was thinking how should i incorporate all this to my journal which i think they all actually link to how fortunate i am for having all this my husband my friends and even a home to stay i kind of make use of all this printing out an old image of my old house and this is my new place like i actually mentioned like what would happen if i did not know my husband what would happen that if i did not marry this man <laughs> who would give me a home of my own <laughs> so even this as well i'm just using it as a background paper and i wrote like a lot of things that actually go through my mind like because this friend that actually works with fan bing bing the artist this person so she actually introduced many years ago when i was younger she did introduce me to work as like work in the artist line, PR artist line. So if I did an interview with that and I got through and I rejected it in the end. So I was thinking like what would happen? It brings me back to that old memories. Like what would happen if I said yes to the interview and I wouldn't be actually journaling right now and putting videos on YouTube and as well as my dog. I I was thinking like about them like how they have passed away they're both different this is um Odie the dad and this is the son Lancer so yeah I it was kind of nice to actually think back and I do have another page about gratitude as well like this is the one as well so what three things do you love about the town area or neighborhood you live in and this is the view that i see right from my <laughs> balcony and um, and i kind of like i i actually put down the image here i paste down this note sticky note that i got and listed the things that i like about my neighborhood although it says three things that i have to list out but i added another two so yeah this is one of the page that i did with gratitude and that's one more that i really like as well it says name three talents or qualities you have that you are grateful for so what i this is actually i was using watercolor <laughs> it's kind of like a neon watercolor so this i say number one learning how to use the camera and capture precious moment for others and then number two would be pick up journaling as a hobby start a workshop and inspire others online it's growing tropical plants indoor and they are still doing well now did plant workshop as well so i said uh despite all this stuff and doubted my skills because i was terrified nobody would come but i still did it and i am thankful for all thankful for all and have and how the universe has planned everything for me and good people that supported me all the time yep i realize i do have you guys I, I don't know, like, everyone has been very supporting so far. Even my family, my husband, they are just okay with what I do. And I printed this just using an A4 paper. Yeah, that is the easiest way you can. Or you can actually use, use envelope, you know, if you guys know what I mean. Wait, no, wait, yes, actually this is use envelope. This is not A4, can you see that? Yeah, this is used envelope, it's not paper, sorry about that. And this is the Instax. Maybe it's gonna be weird like when you started to write prompts and then you paste them. But once you are, you find any of them that actually sync or reflects you, I mean, or actually give you an idea to do something about it. You can see which are the prompt, the gratitude prompt that actually give you more ideas and connection thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye